Hi, this is Larry. I'm going to um, talk you through this and write down some things and leave you to do um, to crunch the numbers with your calculator. But so we have 3% um, of the chips are defective, and we get a package of 20 chips, and we want the probability that the randomly selected package of chips will contain at least two defective chips. Oh, let me get. Let's, let's pick a more fun color. Hey, let's write in purple. Okay. So you want the probability that they're at least two means greater than or equal to two. Now there's a key part to this that probability greater than or equal to two is there's a lot of different ways that you can have greater than or equal to two. And we're going to, in fact, look at the opposite. What's the probability that you have less than two, which means the probability of zero and the probability of one? Those are all the ways that you don't have two or more is if they're zero and if there's one. So we're going to find each of those, add them together, and take one minus that, and that is, in fact, the answer to your question. The probability of greater than or equal to is one minus the combined probability that all of them are fine and add it to the probability that one of them is defective. So we're going to work at P0 and P1, and then just as it says here, you're going to add those two together and take one minus that combined total, and that will in fact be probability of greater than or equal to two. So let's look at the probability of zero. Probability that they're all fine. Well, one chip, probably that one chip is fine is 0.97. 3% are bad, 97% are fine. So you pick that first chip, and it's got a 97% chance that it's fine. You have to do that 20 times in a row. Probability of all the chips are fine, zero, zero defective, is 0.97 to the 20th power. That's easy. Probability of one is a little different. But we're going to look at, first of all, we're going to think about that first chip. So the probability that a first chip is defective is point. Oops. Let's try to make this look nicer. Eh. Right, let's try this. So we're going to look that first chip being defective. The odds are 0 0.03, 3%, that's going to be defective. So if that first chip is effective, then the next 19 all have to be fine. And you can guess the probability that the next 19 are going to be fine is 0.97 to the 19th. But the fact is, this just covers the scenario of the first chip being defective and the next 19 fine. That's only one of the ways you can have one defective chip. The second chip could be defective, in which case it would be this, it would be this same number for the second chip being defective, the third chip being defective. How many different ways are there to have one chip being defective? Well, the first chip could be defective, the second chip could be defective, blah, 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 all the way up to 20. There's 20 different ways that could happen. So that is the probability of one chip being defective. So here we have the combined total of zero chips being defective and one chip being defective. And we're going to take one minus that. And that is the odds are of two or more being defective. Let me write this out nicely. Okay, so I hope that explains it. Um, 
if you have any follow-up questions, um, I think you can leave me a message through this board to get a hold of me. Thanks a lot. Thank you.